All right, guys, so I was getting ready to go ahead and record a builds video. I was going to do a builds video talking about Mia because I think she has some really interesting setups that you can build on her. But before I even got started, I turned the game on and all of a sudden we have this. So this is the Bound Hero battle map for Takumi and Hinoka. I did my free summon already. I summoned on Colorless and I already forgot what I got. I think it was Gordon. Yeah, probably Gordon. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and play this Bound Hero battle map. And right after that, I'm going to do some build videos for the three new units that we got on that really nice banner, the Farfetch'd Heroes banner. So this is the team I'm going to use. We have Hector, Reinhardt, Brave Lynn, and Axizura. So let's take it on on Infernal. This was a really fun map to play, actually, because it's pretty tough. It's not that easy. You ready, Takumi? We'll fight just as planned. They'll see the power of siblings who train together. I heard you the first time, Hinoka. I won't do anything reckless. We shall fight as one. Okay, I didn't even know they were siblings, but... Okay, I guess you live and learn, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put Axazura next to Hector. And I'm gonna swap Lin over there. Now, this is a very tricky map because these guys have ridiculous stats. Like, this Hinoka has 66 HP. So there's just no way in the world you're going to be able to get Panic Ploy off on her. And that's not good because she has this guy next to her that has Hone Flyers. So they're standing next to each other. Hinoka is going to end up with plus 6 attack and there's nothing you can do about it. She's got Swift Sparrow and she also has Drag Back. So I don't recommend trying to bait from this space. It's just not going to work out too well. Also this guy here, this Red Mage is exclusive to the Infernal map. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have Hector bait this blue Cavalier over there and also Takumi. Be very careful because Takumi has Cancel Affinity. That's Threaten Speed. That is not Cancel Affinity. There we go. Okay, Cancel Affinity. So try not to bait him with a Raven Tome user that has T Adept. Make very sure that you're safe about that. Okay, we're just going to move everybody back one space and end the turn there. Alright, so here they come. Hector's gonna be able to finish off Takumi. He's gonna get me with Vengeance, but then I'm gonna get him with Bonfire, so it's all good. Okay, very nice. Alright, and next up is the Blue Cavalier. And we've got Vantage to finish him off. Alright, so now we have all these guys over here. I don't actually want to run in and attack right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my units over a little bit and end the turn there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Reinhardt finish off this Sword Flyer. Okay, very nice. Also, be careful about this Axe guy because he has Lunge and he has the Brave Axe. So, it's really tough trying to bait on this map because a lot of these opponents have ways to mess up whoever you're trying to bait and get them into danger. So, I'm going to have Lin finish off Hinoka. This is also very good because it's going to build up her special and I actually need her special so I can get the one round KO on this Axe dude over here. Okay, there we go. Draconic Aura is going to finish the job. And now all we really have to do is end the turn and the Reinhardt is going to show this red mage who the real magic man is in a second. Okay, so he's getting the double on me, but you can't beat the Reinhardt, man. When it comes to a battle of magic, there's only one Reinhardt. So I'm going to finish off the red mage now and that's pretty much it for the map. Like I said before, it's a very fun map and it's pretty cool with how they set up the opponents. So you got to really be careful and watch your back. Now, good options to use for that map are, of course, I used Hector because he can distant counter and he can quick repost against Takumi and the blue Cavalier that show up on the leftmost side. You can also use Dorcas for that if you manage to get really lucky and summon Dorcas on that new banner. Reinhardt, of course, is going to be good for the map because he can finish off both of the red units and he does pretty good against Hinoka as well. Brave Lin, any bow in general, I would say, because there's a couple of flying units on the map, so 
So feel free to bring some bow units on the map. There's a lot of other options you can also go with for a bow. And I brought Axe Azura just for a dancer to allow my units to take a second action. So that's pretty much it for the map, guys. That's my thoughts on it. It's a pretty fun map. So yeah, as always, this is Tacho signing out. I'm going to go get started working on my builds video for these units over here. So look forward to that. And as always, cheers, have a great day, and I'll see you again next time.